So chart patterns are designed to tell you if either the trend will either continue or what's called continuation pattern or change or reverse a reversal pattern. And in this section, we're going to talk about continuation patterns. So you're going to be seeing trends. You're going to see things continue along the trend. So kind of keep that in the back of your mind. We're going to be talking about uh, continuation patterns in this area. And then later we'll be talking about reversal, uh, reversal patterns. But reading right from here, you can kind of see that one of the key kind of parts of this is there needs to be a trend, right? For either one, if there's no trend, you really have no continuation or reversal pattern, you know, that's, that's been fully formed. You might see one, a pattern in development and you might be a, a trends be, you know, in development too. And you'll see that as we go through the lessons. But one of the key things is part of this whole trend is your friend and the trend is going to help you as an indication and a predictor and the patterns do that too, but they need that trend to be, uh, to be there as well. So that's where with chart patterns, sometimes they take a little patience around that because you're waiting for these things to develop. So uh, in an established trend, what happens is there's, let's say it's an uptrend, there's, uh, there's an up, you know, there's a trend that's being established. Prices are headed in a certain direction. That's what we made trend. Prices are either going up or down and there's, uh, and what can happen is there's a pause. Uh, there might be the strong trend either way, either up or down. And then there's a pause, a little slowing down of buying and selling. You know, the trend is starting to lose its steam, so to speak. It's not as being you know, firmly bought up or firmly sold off, you know, so to speak. So it's starting to lose its steam. And when you see a, a continuation pattern, you know, that is indicating that the trend will accelerate again after the pause. So let's use that example of an uptrend. Let's say you've got an uptrend going up. There's a pause. So prices kind of stabilize or go sideways, maybe down a little bit. And then with a continuation pattern, they would keep going up is the idea of a continuation and feel good. And when you, so when you are, let's say, investing off a trend um, and you see a pattern that's there, you can feel good that you've identified the trend correctly because it's a continuation trend is the idea. So you can feel good about that, that, okay, I have a really good handle on this particular security, how it is trading at this moment in time because I see the trend, but I also see the continuation pattern kind of reinforcing that. And we can make trading decisions around that as well. So when you're thinking about trading and you're trading continuation patterns, you know, if it's an uptrend, prices are rising, you, you, you don't want to sell You want to ride that price up further. You know, hopefully you bought in at some point lower, the prices have gone up. So you've made profit as the prices have gone up and you're seeing this pattern. You maybe see a pause, but you see a continuation pattern. And so the idea is that you're, it's going to keep going up and you'll get even more profits off of that initial trade. In fact, you, what you could do in some cases is you see that you could add even more to that trade. You know, keep investing a little bit more in that security. Not only do you have your original investment, but maybe now you see this chart pattern and a continuation uh, pattern form is formed. You can even add a little bit more or add more. And now you've got, you know, even more uh, money that's uh, as you adjusted your position to kind of ride upward in an upward trend. You know, now if you're, let's say, looking to buy as opposed to short selling or other types of strategies out there, but let's say if you are, you know, buying securities and you see a downtrend, well, you need to, you can see that established downtrend and you need to continue to wait that out and wait out that downtrend before buying in, right? So you, it's a good way to judge to see, oh, is it going to reverse? Is that downtrend going to maybe go start into an uptrend now? But with a continuation pattern, it would be like, no, I see a continuation pattern in a downtrend. That means it's going to keep going down further, which might mean we might have a great opportunity coming up in the near future once that uh, continuation pattern uh, basically runs its course. So that's a general idea behind continuation patterns. Let's now look at some specific examples of the actual patterns that you can see and how to trade off of them.